makes these protesters terrorists? Because obviously they have... They are terrorists. They have, look, at the, look at the sign. They've they got have, guns and everything else. Because obviously they have their own views when it comes to Palestine, they do, Israel, indeed. stuff but like there's that. There's no Palestine, darling. You keep saying that. In the Six Day War, Israel fought Egypt and Jordan and Lebanon and all the rest of it. They didn't fight Palestine because there wasn't a Palestine. It was owned by Jordan. Jordan took it. It was Jordanian. There was no Palestine. And there still is no Palestine. And they're not in prison. They can do what they want. But they spend all their aid money on digging tunnels and, and arming, arming the Hamas instead of looking after their own people. And they use them as cannon fodder, the children. It's disgusting. And Golda Meir said, when they love their children as much as we love ours, there'll be no war. And we can forgive them for making up, for them killing our children. What we can't forgive is for them making us kill theirs. And that's the difference. They don't love their children. These are all cannon fodder. You did say that there there is no Palestine. No, there isn't. But the international community would disagree with you there because they well, do say that they there is disagree, occupied. Darling. They're not occupied. There's no, they removed all the settlements from the Gaza Strip. And they, that's what they wanted, that's what they got. Are they still happy? No. Israel give them electricity and water. They treat them free of charge. They even give transport. The, the American and some Western uh, 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 states that are supporting the criminal, they are supporting the oppressor against the oppressor, oppressed. Uh, they, are, they are standing against uh, any uh, uh, statement from the United Nations to condemn at least all the massacre which is being carried out against the Palestinians in the Holy Land. Now, I've actually just spoken to um, someone from the Zionist rally on the other side, and they said that everyone here today at the Al Quds demonstration are terrorists. What's your response to that? <laughs> that's that's very funny, you know. You know, all these people who are freedom lovers. They are peace, peace lovers. They are, at least, they are on the side of the peaceful people. They are not on the, on the side of the violator. They are not on the side of the terrorists. The, the terrorist state is, is the Israeli state, the Israeli regime, and the Zionists. And it is the whole world, you know, imagine, imagine, the, the, the United Nations, all the world are standing this side for Palestine. Only the, the United States is standing that side with, with th those people. Now, who is the criminal? Who is the terrorist? The whole world are terrorists. And final question. This year's Al Quds Day demonstration, uh, there's a lot of risks around here because, you know, the far right, Tommy Robinson supporters were in London yesterday. There's still a few of them around posing a risk, uh, the very threatening behavior. Um, are you scared at all? Like, how's your feelings that coming down here with all the risks posed to the demonstration? Well, yes, as you said, you're absolutely right. This year there have been lots of threats, lots of uh, indications of uh, violent being committed against the participants of this uh, uh, march and but when you compare it to the Palestinians who are facing the bullets they are facing the killing uh, and, and they are not scared they go and know that they are being shot at they will be killed and they are there we are just marching here in the nice weather here and we, that's nothing compared to the Palestinians being massacred. So we're still waiting for the demo to get underway. They, they should be marching towards uh, Downing Street at some point, but um, I think we're going to have to try and see how.
really just to support uh, the Al Quds Day, which is, I guess, the longest running, if you like, uh, demonstration in favor of the, the Palestinian cause. And particularly this year, where the Zionists and the right wing seem to have made a point of targeting this demonstration, which has always been really peaceful, uh, yet they seem to find a problem with this one in particular. I think it's because there is a general move to conflate anti-Semitism with Zionism. There's a general move to conflate anti-Zionism uh, with uh, uh, being, uh, if you like, uh, uh, against Jews and Judaism. That's absolutely not the case. This uh, demonstration has always been focused on the political ideology, the negative ideology of Zionism, which is there to basically create an apartheid system and to take away the rights of Palestinians. So, Muslims? By the Palestinians. They're and Muslim and they're Islam. There are Muslims, Islam, there's also Christians. And, Islam. Um, Arab, uh, Arab Christians Islam. in Palestine. Does, does Hamas recognize Israel as a, a state? Does it recognize Jewish people? It obviously has differences with Israel. Does it recognise that Israel, Israel should ex has a right to exist? They don't really recognise each other because Israel doesn't recognise Hamas as the political... Because they're a terrorist group. But, but they're terrorists. Do you know what terrorism is? It's not democracy. It's a, it's a violent uh, ideology that is about death and destruction. No peace. Yeah. But then wouldn't that mean that by default Israel is also not a democracy? Oh they yeah, if, if, if Palestine, if the Palestinians, if they just left and went back to their original countries of Jordan, Syria, Egypt, because that's what they really are, they're not actually Palestinian, there's no such thing as a Palestinian, that was made up by whatever, Arafat or whoever it was with the PLO. You know, it's just a fake thing, just to, just to ploy to get rid of Israel, that's the, that's the issue, and to make Israel be the bad guy, when in actual fact, I feel very shocked with Jewish people I, 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 I don't understand it because I say I'm not Jewish and I, for the life of me I cannot understand Jewish people who are against Israel the, the whole concept and they support their enemy it's like turkey voting for dinner really Christmas it's a turkey voting for Christmas and Jewish people who aren't against Palestine because that's all all I've ever seen I've done you know I've researched the whole thing because I, I wanted to try and understand what the deal was with Israel and Palestine I didn't really know and then I researched it all, and it made sense that actually there's this uh, Islamic desire to take over the world. That's what Muhammad said. I've got the Quran. I, I educated myself, researched all my own stuff. I know the deal, and the evidence speaks for itself. How the Muslims behave through the Testament before Jesus, and the New Testament abrogates the Old Testament. And there's nobody currently in the world today going by what the Bible says to kill, stone, rape, None of that is happening today. However, in Islam, all of that is happening because the Quran, all, there's no new and old Quran, there's no Old Testament, New Testament. The Quran is filled with hate and death and killing and taking over and recognizing only Islam as the one ideology. And that's not conducive to our belief system. And for some unknown reason, our governments have sold us out over the decade. I've realized now how far back it goes. And tragically, the governments here, especially in the UK, well, and in Europe, actually, the EU, sold out the people to Islam. That's why we've got hundreds of thousands. That's why mosques are never, never inspected for weapons, never checked, never. It doesn't matter how many terrorist attacks are here by Muslims who shout out the Aloha snack bar, which is, you know, it's following the Quran. Never an inspection, never a crackdown, never a check on Islam, never a question, and well, they admit it. If I could just come back at you there, yeah. I've spoken to people in the... Washing, it's a, a very well-planned, structured brainwashing. It's a Zionist ideology. It's the Zionism is based on this uh, uh, um, ideological brainwashing of all its supporters with all kind of, uh, 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 you know, uh, myths and all kind of narratives of uh, that being against Israel is anti-Semitism or being against Zionism is anti-Semitism. I think it's it's not uh, ignorance. These guys are in a way are victims of Zionist propaganda, and if they and I can see that it's difficult for them to challenge what they have been uh, uh, led 
like being told since day one they came to life and of course they will believe all this propaganda and they have the chance when you have uh, uh, media in the west and outside the west that is also uh, uh, echoing the Zionist propaganda so I think it's more complicated than saying it's ignorance it's more than that it's a machine working, Zionist machine working. Sure. Now, obviously, there are a lot of um, risks surrounding this event now, given that last year it was targeted by a right-wing white fascist terrorist. And then also this year you have the presence of, again, EDL supporting um, right-wingers and things like that, who I've, I've seen them earlier, I've filmed them. They're acting very provocatively, very violently against the demo here today. Um, Given the fact that this is now a dangerous event to attend, could you now give us your reaction at why is it still important to come despite the threats Well, here? number one, it's not more dangerous than uh, uh, the situation for protesters in Gaza, for instance. They are, you know, protesting in a real dangerous situation. You know, this is nothing. Some racist, and there are lots of security and lots of police. But it's interesting, always racism and right-wing people always attracted to Israel and Zionist ideology because they meet on the very racist idea of Israel and Zionism and all uh, 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 the hatred and uh, uh, racist ideologies. It just matches their right-wing and extreme uh, beliefs. But, yeah, I mean, it's still important. I mean, these guys are always there. I mean, they're in every context to find them, but that does not mean that they are majority or that does not mean that they should fear us and we don't come. No, of course, we will always come and protest. We 